Hi everyone, Michelle from Plantiful Plates here. In the lead up to our Plantiful Plates Smoothie A Day Challenge, I thought that I would show you a really neat alternative way to make a smoothie if you don't have a high powered blender or um, if your blender you know, is on the fritz. Uh, in a pinch, there's um, an alternative way to make a smoothie. So that's by using one of these. If you have one of these, it's called an immersion blender. These are super handy. Um, I love to use them um, when I'm making soups. You know, they just go right in the stock pot and pureed um, soups or vegetables up with this in a flash. And really, smoothies are no different. So I did see this on probably Pinterest, um, and it said, you know, make your smoothie in a mason jar. No, nah, not gonna happen with mine. I don't know if I might have an older version of it. It doesn't fit in my mason jar, but have no fear. I think, I love this little piece of equipment so much, I thought that I could use just a glass um, measuring cup. I was going to use a pitcher, but I'm just not sure that what um, thickness of glass will take this kind of uh, process. So I'm using this. I know that it's good and sturdy, um, a glass measuring cup. I have a one liter four cup measure here. So, so I'm going to start by adding in my milk, about a cup of milk here, and then let's throw in the bananas. spinach goes right in on top and this is already looking kind of full but we're gonna go with it oh, two more bananas to go in there and the sweetener you can use any sweetener you like or no sweetener at all really but for the kids you know a little spoonful of sugar does help the spinach and hemp seeds go down mm -hmm. excellent hemp seeds when I mix this in with peanut butter they don't even really notice that uh, the hemp seeds are there. Okay, so let's give this a whirl. I may need some more milk, so. Uh, I think. And that's the most important thing. Uh, no, what I, I do want to say is that when you're using an immersion blender, you want to keep it immersed under the. You know, smoothie, you're not going to burn yourself. The soup is particularly important, so. Um, Definitely making it nice and frothy. See this? Really, it is whipping up that spinach there. Okay, two tablespoons of raw cacao. Uh, I can recap this for you. So I had one frozen banana, one teaspoon of raw honey. So far, two tablespoons of raw cacao powder, quarter cup of the uh, raw, unsalted, unsweetened peanut butter, natural peanut butter, about a cup and a half to two cups of spinach, and a cup of the almond milk. This is going to be the starter anyway. It's made of the forest green funky monkey. This makes up such a smooth smoothie. <laughs> See how nice and smooth that's like, it's almost like chocolate milk. Mind the greenness. <laughs> um, I'm going to give it a taste. Awesome. So, quick tip, if you don't have a blender, you don't need a Vitamix to belong to the um, Plantful Plate Smoothie A Day Challenge. Uh, if you do have one of these kicking around in the back of your cupboards, bring it out and uh, give it a whirl because it makes an excellent smoothie. I guess I'll talk to you next week with our last lead up to the Plantful Plate Smoothie A Day Challenge. I'm um, looking forward to it. Okay, thanks. Have a good night.